When Regina firefighter Tanner Brotzel was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma last December, his colleagues stepped in to cover his shifts so that he could get full pay while he was getting through treatment. Now they've been told to stop and that any replacement requests will no longer be approved. Joining us now is president of the Regina Professional Firefighters Association, Brian Sedlick. He is also Brotzel's platoon captain. Uh, Brian, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Oh, no problem. Thank you. You know, a lot of people watching would say, you know, this is a colleague of yours, a friend of yours uh, who is going through a terrible disease and everybody around him rallied to step in and do the right thing. How frustrating was it for you guys to be told that you couldn't do this anymore? Well, really frustrating. But, you know, it's not how we're feeling. It's how Tanner's feeling. The way this came down was... He was diagnosed while well, we, we were brought into the, the fold in December. He uh, let everybody know that he had cancer and he had talked to his captains and the chief came and talked to him and stated that he would do everything possible to make this uh, a worry-free battle. So what came of this was the members around the fire halls, sat down, decided that they would work for him, approached Tanner, said, don't worry about it, Tanner, we got your shifts covered. And Tanner said, that's the best thing that could ever happen is not worry about financial burdens while I'm in this battle. Because it could have been quite a financial hit because even though benefits, uh, he is eligible for benefits, I understand that that wouldn't cover his full pay would only cover a portion of his pay. So by you guys helping him, he would still get that financial flow coming in. What was the reason given to you, though, for stopping his colleagues from covering his shift? Because I also understand that this is something that is is allowed in your collective agreement, provided that both employees agree and the chief signs off on it. Well, the chief doesn't sign off on it. It's the station captain that approves the 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 replacements with pay. Um, I don't know exactly why there was a change. We've never been given a real reason. It just came down that they decided that this was abuse of the, the contract. And really, <laughs> you just can't understand that. I mean, the focus should be Tanner mm -hmm. and Tanner getting better. It shouldn't be gamesmanship with with, uh, oh, I'm losing something here, gamesmanship with who, what's best for Tanner. Tanner decided what was best for him. It was having the replacements working, he gets his full pay, he accrues his benefits during this time, which would help if there's a reoccurrence, he'd be accruing benefits that he wouldn't have to access normally. And of course, when we met with the city and they handed down the, the ultimatum that he goes on long-term disability, you know, we, we were upset, but we found out exactly what we could do with this long-term disability plan. And we were informed by the manager of long-term disability that it wouldn't affect it at all if he still had the replacements with pay. So we figured after our second meeting that everything was okay until we got to Friday, last Friday, and we were noticed that this process would no longer happen. No more replacements. And he would either have to go on long-term disability or come back to work. And unfortunately, he is coming back to work. I don't know if that's the best thing, but I mean, he wants to come back to work. There's no doubt about that. But, I mean, the focus is just gone. I mean, it's, it's not about a union fight or anything it's about, else. It's, it's about, about Tanner and, and, and his health. It's and about going Tanner, through. and that's... What, what is I mean, his health, Brian? The last time you talked to him, uh, how's he doing? He's uh, just wishing this would, you know, everybody and the city would honor his wishes and let him access the, the contractual right. And it's this 
again, when you, you, you look at the, the comments on other interviews that are gone, and it's, it's a union thing, and union strong and forcing themselves. Well, no, it's not that. It's, it's about Tanner. Mm -hmm. And Tanner chose to access the goodwill of our members, our team members, that stepped up and offered to work for him. And wanted to, to help, help their, their friend and their colleague. Brian Sedlick, we wish Tanner all the best and, uh, and to you as well. Thank you for talking about this with us. Oh, anytime. I, I just wish it was a better uh, story instead of uh, this angle on it. I hear you. Thank you so much, Brian. We also reached out to Regina Fire Chief uh, Ernie Polsom, who gave us the following statement. While we understand the positive intent of the firefighters to support their colleagues during his illness, their actions covering his shifts put Tanner Bratzel's access to benefits at risk. A review is underway into the circumstances that allowed this situation to occur for close to seven months.